Hello, my amazing artists, and welcome back to Art Wild Art with me, Miss H. This week, we are going to be reviewing parts of a landscape, and you'll have your chance to create your very own abstract landscape. So, to begin, we're going to be inspired by this artist named Carla Gerard, and here is a picture of her. So, Carla Gerard is a contemporary abstract folk artist. Now, contemporary just means that she's alive and still creating art today. Abstract means that her artwork doesn't look quite like a photograph, but we can still tell what it is. So if you see here, the houses don't look exactly like they do in real life. Neither does the sky or the ground, but we can still tell that this is a landscape. And she's a folk artist because she actually taught herself how to become an artist and create what she does today. So most folk artists are just home trained or they're trained by themselves. Now to review, let's go over the parts of a landscape. So here's another painting by Carla Gerard. And let's find the four parts of a landscape. Well, at the very bottom of the landscape, if it's at the bottom of the page, it has biggest items, the most detail, that's the foreground because it is closest to the viewer. It's closest to the front. And then we move backwards, it gets a little higher on the page. Items start to become smaller. Details become less noticeable. That's the middle ground. And then let's look at this part, this line. So there's a certain name for this line. And this line just separates the ground from the sky in a landscape. This line is called the horizon line. And then last part of a, of a landscape is the part that's in the very back. The items are the smallest, details we can, bar we can barely see anymore, and that is called your background. Also, it's highest up on the page. So that's a good way to remember. Low is foreground, middle ground is in the middle, and then at the highest point is the background. Okay. So today, um, you're going to watch my videos. This is kind of a three-part lesson here. You're going to create your very own Carla Gerard collage landscape. So if you don't have the materials that I'm showing you in these videos, that's okay. You can definitely still do this with even pencil. But if you have crayons or markers, those would look really great. And maybe scissors and glue. Um, you can make the same artwork just using those supplies instead. So crayon, markers, scissors, and glue, and you'll really be set to go. In the videos, I'll show you I'm actually using oil pastels in watercolor, but don't worry if you don't have those. I still would like you to experiment and make something, some sort of a Carla Gerard collage landscape um, similar to what I'm going to be showing you. So go ahead and hop on to my next video and let's get started. 